Hey y'all, it's Christy Cook from Tea Dottles. I'm back. <laughs> Today is the first day of Vlogmas, so I couldn't miss that, right? I've been very, very busy this week. My son came to visit and I quite enjoyed that. We did lots of things. I watched several movies and um, yeah, I just didn't have time to record, so I did it. <laughs> uh, Woo! So it's the first day of Vlogmas. Um, Vlogmas? I don't think that sounded right the first time I said it. We, I just, I haven't been back long from, it's probably about 4 o'clock, yeah. Although I am having an afternoon cup of coffee. Um, just got back from uh, dropping my son off to ride. He called a ride with my my stepdaughter, who goes to school up above Atlanta, and so they're headed back now. Um, now I'm waiting to hear when they get home, both of them. So, yeah, it's never easy, but it is what it is, you know. Uh, they'll both be back in about two weeks. One will be back, and the other, well, my son is only going to come back for maybe another week at the end of the year, so... That will be it. But I've got two more weeks of school left. So I gotta go back to school Monday. Oh, it's been warm here this week. Got up the earlier this week it was colder and then it got up to the eighties in midweek. Yeah, barely warm. And some rain come through this morning and now the temperatures are dropping again. So <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy, but it's it's fairly typical for around here. It's been a little more up and down than most winters. It does get like that sometimes, though. So, so, uh, yeah, so today is the first day to open the Advent Calendar. If you bought an Advent Calendar with Southern Skeins, um, today is the first day to open one. It's day one. Um, so, I'm going to pause right here and insert my pre-recorded opening of the first day so I can take a look and then I'll meet y'all back here in a second okay hey y'all it's Christy Cook from Tea Dottles and it's time to open the uh, advent calendar box for December 1st let's take a look and see what we got Ooh, look. Very red. Very much Christmas. Oh, it's a pretty red. Look at that. So pretty. So pretty. And I just want y'all to know that y'all may get extra goodies that I don't get because I got these in advance so I could film this. But look at how pretty this is. I love it. So, I will be joining this in with my vlog a day and then show you what this looks like in the crochet pattern that comes along with the advent calendar. Hope y'all enjoy. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. Did y'all enjoy it? <laughs> it was really weird to record those, y'all, because I recorded each individual one like back to back to back of all the openings because I got that going in advance since I did the crochet pattern for it. Um, so that was a little strange, but it's also fun <laughs> to have the yarn already. Um, I'm going to, just a spoiler alert for, oh, dog barking, I don't know why. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, let me go get in there and get him away from the window even though we can't see out the window he likes to sit there I think there's a little crack he might can see a tiny bit I don't know so spoiler alert for those who did get the advent calendar I'm going to show the finished object the finished crochet pattern which you can see if you go you should get a password to go on my website and to a secret page to get the pattern um 
but I only have the one picture of it on the mannequin because I didn't have anybody to take pictures of me in it. So I'm going to show you what the finished object is and talk a little bit about it and some other options for you with the same um, pattern that I give you because it's just a, it's a pattern repeat, several rows, pattern repeat. And you can, uh, there's some other things you could do besides what I did with it. So this is what I made. So if you don't want to see it, pause it or skip it, whatever. It's going to show you all the colors. I'm not going to show them in detail. I'm just going to show you the object. So here is, it's very rainbowy because it was colors. It's a shrug. Get it on. So it's like a short little shruglet, if you want to shrugle it. And here it is. It's very colorful, but with a neutral top. I think it's. I really like it. Um, I like the yarn, how the yarn turned out, the drape that the pattern gave. Um, it hangs down depending on how far you seam these up. Um, it'll hang down further if you don't seam them up as far. I didn't seam mine up that far. But if you don't like the shrug idea, you can always take that pattern and there's enough yarn in there that you could probably make four nice size cowls with that same pattern repeat, just using some of the yarns in each one. If I just put them together in the order that they're opened. I didn't change the order of the colors. Um, you may want to wait until you get all the colors and then do something like that. So if you use the same uh, pattern, because I just added the yarns as I went along, used a Russian knot join, um, and just continued on. I didn't stop and start at the ends, but some people may want to do that. Um, but if I put this, it is big enough where I attached it. You can see you can make several small stripy cows. You could actually even <laughs> you wanted to put both of these over like that and have something like this, which is a little odd, but you know. <laughs> but what I was saying about the uh, the cowls, uh, if you did like. Like I said, you could get at least four nice size and you seam them all the way up the side if you'd prefer to do that instead of making one long shrug. You could also wear this as a scarf if you like and not seam it up at all or seam it up so you could do both. So there's options with it, right? Um, I love the fabric this made. It's super drapey. Um, let me get resituated. Okay. <laughs> My hair. Resituated. It's it's super drapey. Um, I used a stitch. The the main stitch, the lacy kind of looking part is called a crow's foot stitch. Um, which I modified slightly. It's usually a four row repeat repeat. Two rows with some other stuff in between. Um, because I wanted I tried to keep the repeat within the yarn swatch, but eh, it's kind of hard to do either way. Even though you have the same, like, 10 grams of yarn, the length may vary because the yarn can vary in thickness and thinness. Not, like, consistently. It's a consistent yarn. It's just the nature of fiber. <laughs> so, anywho, that is it's called the Crow's Foot Shrug. Um, so if you got the advent calendar, you have access to that pattern for free. Now, plan on putting this in my Etsy shop uh, at the beginning of the year for sale if you want the pattern. Um, but for now, the pattern is only for people who bought the advent calendar at this time. <laughs> so that is that. And if you have any questions about the pattern at all, please let me know. That pattern was not tested. I did not have time for anybody to test it because <laughs> the original pattern I was going to do did not work out. And like I said, I got the yarn later than I was supposed to only because Jenna was sick. You know, she had a lot of <laughs> things happen. Life happens. And uh, so 
the original thing that I had set out to do did not look right with that yarn. So I had to I had to redo things a couple times. So if you find something that you don't understand or is unclear, please let me know. Okay, I will be happy to help and ask and even do a video tutorial of the stitch. It's fairly straightforward. Um, there's one little bit that's a little bit tricky, but it's not super tricky. Once you know what to do, it goes really fast and quick. So, um, yeah, now I'm out of breath because I was wrestling with the yarn. Anywho, in other news, I put a big update in Wednesday, late Wednesday in the shop. I told y'all about that Thursday. I did do a, a tiny blog on Thanksgiving, uh, vlog, whatever you want to call it. Um, and speaking of blog posts, on Friday, I did a blog post about my yarny Christmas tree um, that I did this year. So I'll put a link down below so you can go check that out if you'd like to. The ornaments I made and some some other things I had that were yarn related. I just made a little yarny Christmas tree vignette for my Christmas tree this year. So I will put a link to that down below. And in the shop, I'm going to show you some things that are still hanging out in there. Um, there's still quite a bit. I did a lot of drawstring maker bags and mini maker bags. Um, did not get the totes in. And I won't be able to sew on anything until this weekend. I just, I got to get through school this week. I got two weeks of school left, which means I've got to finish checking work. And lots to do there before the semester winds up. So, um... But I, I have a sale going in my shop. Everything is at least, even my stitch markers are at least 10% off. And then there's some things that are 15%, some that are 20% because they're older. And then there, my pattern, my bumps and scales shawl pattern is 50% off. And that is through Monday. Um, and after that, the sale is over. Um, so let's just take a look at some things that are still in there. I do have... Hmm. Do I have a big, yeah, I have, okay. This doesn't have the drawstring in it yet, but it'll be in there before you buy it. I took a picture of the one with the drawstring. <laughs> I have this maker and mini maker. That one's got like snowflakes on it and it has like uh, sheet music on the inside, fabric, yeah. And this print is kind of goldy and it's got like images from the nutcracker on it. So I have one big bag and one small bag left in that print. I have just, hold on, no, no. I've got two mini makers left in the cat's skiing print. I already sold two big bags. Um, I have a print like this with the dog skiing, but I haven't, I hadn't had a chance to cut that out yet. So. It won't be in there before the sale's over, but um, I have one. No, I have two uh, maker bags in this kitschy. I'm calling it kitschy Christmas. It has some interesting things on it. It has a dreidel on it too, <laughs> so it's just interesting kind of things on there. Um, so I have two like that, and they have this kind of knit sweater print on the inside. I have. Uh, one big and I think two small left of this deer print. They're like plaid. Uh, and these have the, it's a, it's like pine cones and pine branches printed on the inside. I have one quilted zipper tote, maker tote left in there. This one, it just has the squirrel print on the bottom. I had a little bit left. And then it has the buffalo plaid in that color. Comes with the patinaed leaf and my light's being weird today. And acorn, copper acorn print. And then this is what the inside looks like. And I have, nope, I can't put that in there. I was super mad at myself because I had two of these Scuba Santa print bags. But 
I don't have any mini maker ones for some reason. I'm not real sure why that is, but when I was trimming up the pocket uh, threads, maybe you can see that. I don't know. It's kind of glaring. I cut the top edge of the fabric off right there. Yeah, so it's going to be fraying and stuff. And there's no good way to fix that and it'll look good. So I couldn't put it in the shop. So I was like, one little snip. One wrong snip. That's all it took. <laughs> and then I have several uh, mini makers in this Nutcracker gold shimmery print. Um, with the knit sweater on the inside. And, and this one, Mini Maker bags. These are a little bit. Now, when I use the leftover fabrics, you'll see that these are a little bit bigger than these. Just a little bit bigger. But it's my standard size I cut if I don't use leftovers. So these are a little smaller than these. But um, has that fun mountain, snow covered mountain print. And it's just got snow gloves. There's Santa and a, a swimsuit. <laughs> some penguins, snowman, reindeer, skiers. There's a bear on there. There's all kinds of fun things in snow gloves. So those are all in there. There's a few other random bags in there that were left over that I still got. I sold most of those. And hang on just a second. Mm. I've put stitch markers in there, which they are 10% off right now, y'all. This is a deer. Come on. It's a reindeer. It's got a little jingle bell on it. That's in there, and they have the bigger 16 millimeter hooks. And I have these Let It Snow, the little dangly snowflake. I have three different Christmas trees. I don't have the third one over here, but there's one like that, if y'all can see that. And one like that. And then I got one more variation. So I did put those in there. And the Christmas trees can come with... Uh, the lobster claw clasp lobster clasp but the other ones have the option where you have the, the lobster clasp or the um earring bag yeah uh just pick one i don't think i got a picture on there um but yeah so and my christmas bags come with well you get this little lanyard bag and what i call it I got some fun Christmas teas. This is a ginger snappish. And I got some other flavors over there. And uh, along with my Made with Love tag, I put a little green light bulb thing with a jingly bell on it. So, those are going out through the end of the year. I got to order some more teas. I don't think I'm going to have enough to make it through the rest, but we'll see. <laughs> uh... And they'll come in this fun Christmas bag. Well, they're not overly Christmas. They're more wintry, I would say, bags. So, all righty. That's enough shop talk, isn't it? Yes. Now, go check it out. Uh, see what's left in there. Um, I did... Not do any crochet or knitting this week at all. Mm. I will be when I finish this, when I edit it and everything. That's my plan to get settled in my pajamas for the evening and knit and crochet the rest of the day away because I have to go back to work tomorrow. So that is the plan. Um, I did do some online shopping. Most of it was for other people. Uh, my son needed some new clothes. Christmas so we sat down and picked out some stuff put in an order on Kohl's.com actually it was pretty good 
and I just remembered I got $30 Kohl's cash that I can spend on something else, which is awesome. And then we went to some t-shirt website called Threadless. All their t-shirts were $10, which they're like had interesting things on it. So that's pretty cool. I actually got me a t-shirt. It had an octopus on it that had a, like a knit hat on. And <laughs> I just had to have it. So I got that. And um, I, I did order another shirt. But it is a, it says hooked. And it has a crochet hook underneath it. It was somebody, I can't remember who it was now. But they do those kind of fun maker shirts. And they were having a sale as well. So I got one of those. Um, what else did I ordered some stuff from Ulta for my stepdaughter? She really um, likes the makeup stuff and stuff, beauty stuff like that. So I ordered her some stuff from there, and I got my hubs some. What are those things called? Thermosail. It's a it's a thing that it helps keeps mosquitoes away. It's like an electronic, I don't know, it works really good. And they had them on sale. And I got two for the price of one. Is basically what it was. So I got him some of those. I got... What else did I get? Oh. Uh, to my have old urge some yarn. Because Michael's had, you remember the tweed yarn, the tweeded stripe yarn, or whatever it is, the Charisma tweeded stripes they got now? They had it on sale for $1.99 a skein. And so I got every colorway except the pink colorway because they were sold out of the pink colorway. So I got that. I said I was going to get it if it was on sale again, and it was for $1.99 a skein. So I got that. I ordered, what is that? place I can't think of it right now but they always have super cool yarn and patterns I have a lot of their patterns but I've never bought their yarn but they had a sale going on and I ordered enough to make their newest scarf pattern which wasn't that much so that was good and I think it has Angora in it which is I'm interested to work with that um, I ordered some yarn off of an Etsy shop because it was on like 20% off or something like that. And it was one that I had been eyeballing for a while. I can't remember the name of the shop. Yo, I did a lot of online shopping this weekend. <laughs> my son and I, let's see, Friday I went back over there to my parents. He actually stayed at my parents. He stayed with us last night. But we spent the day online shopping. <laughs> That's what we were doing on Black Friday. Um... And then, what else? Uh, I feel like I did something else. I was going to get some of the back quarter shop stuff they have. Um, their flash sales. But the first one, well, I didn't see nothing too great. The second one, I saw some stuff that was interesting. But I forgot about it till later and most of it was gone. So, I just, whatever. Uh, yeah. Um... I ordered me some new glasses. I think I told y'all that already. From glasses.com. Glasses USA. We'll see how those are when they come in. Um, this is crooked and it's bugging me. It's a little better. <laughs> Felt like I was leaning sideways. Um, so, oh, my Lion brand order came in. When they had that 5 for 10, which was last month sometime, well, it's December 1st, so I think it was in October, maybe even. Um, it just came in. Uh, I'll go get it in a minute and show it to y'all. But I also, we went to Ollie's again with my son. He was picking up some coffee pods to take back with him. And I found some yarn in there. <laughs> so, they had Bernat. Burnett, or not, blanket yarn for $1.99 a skein, which is a really good price. And at first, I didn't see any colors I wanted, but then they were so he's like, there's boxes of it down here. And I was like, oh. So we went, and I really liked 
this teal and brown colorway so I got 10 skeins of it so I can make a blanket with it um yeah so for $1.99 a skein I really couldn't pass that up they had like bright pink and then they had a pink and white multicolor like this they had a bunch of cream colored I feel like there was something else I can't remember they also had the red heart super saver jumbo rolls like those big rolls um for 2 dollars but they had like this it's like an odd green color like a pale green color and uh what else did I say they have some uh Vanna's choice but it all looked fuzzy and I'm not sure if that was the yarn that is just like that it's acrylic or if it's all when I don't know I wasn't going to get any of it except because at first all I saw was that bright pink brunette blanket and I really didn't want that but then I had a whole bin of this and I was like for $1.99 a skein I'm going to get enough to make me a blanket so that's what I did so yeah if you have an Ollie's near you you might want to check it out they had boxes of this stuff um, that was a pretty awesome of course my son said Leave it to you to find the yarn in this place. It's like a beacon to you. <laughs> it is like a beacon to me. I will admit that. All right, I'm going to pause this right quick. I'm going to go get my box from the library and I'll be right back. Okay, I got it. I'm back. Um, I do know that they refunded me for one or two skeins of yarn. Uh... I think it was one because I got two of one color and then I had gotten one of several different colors to make the stripy scarf I'd seen made out of it so I'm thinking it was just one color that I didn't get so but I got everything else I got these uh, touch of alpaca bonus bundles um, these are this is the crimson colorway these are the number four. There's 415 yards on one of these. They're usually $9.99 a skein. So five for 10, they were $2 a skein. Um, it's a seven ounce ball. Yeah, it's 90% acrylic and 10% alpaca. So not that much alpaca. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is not a very soft yarn at all, but it's not itchy like a durable yarn if that makes any sense so i think it'll be okay if i make that scarf i wanted to make out of it um it's not itchy i have to imagine that once you soak it it's gonna soften right up because it's not itchy at all um so i got this color crimson i got jade that was very fuzz on there it's just been in oh, that's a piece of the box I got navy. Um, I got yeah. I think there was a lighter blue I didn't get. Uh, olive, because all of these I think will work together to make that uh, scarf I want to make. And then I got two of this purple aster. That might go in with it too. I don't know. We'll see. Because it's like a stripe and the main color in it is cream colored. But they didn't have cream in there. And plus I didn't really want cream. So we'll see. I got three shawl in a cakes. 481 yards. These are... This is Sun Salutation, 50% cotton, 39% acrylic, and 3% other fibers. It is the number four. And then I got, what color is it? Mellow Muse. I really like that too. And I got, I think this is Jade something. Jade Pool. Yeah. I didn't have these colors from all my other shawl in a balls that I have back there. So, but I did have those. And then I got five 
of these scarfies and this eggplant color. Well, it's called, yeah, eggplant. Eggplant slash taupe. Taupe. Eggplant taupe. Yeah, I really like that color. And that should be enough to make me a nice cardigan out of it. Actually, I only have one other ball of scarfie. So. And scarfie is... 78% acrylic and 22% wool. It's another yarn that's not super soft feeling. You touch it, but it's not itchy. So, I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. And that's what I got. So it was $30. So I got three sets of five of stuff. Except I didn't, I'm missing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm just missing one skein that they didn't send. And it was a, one of those touch of alpaca colors. That they refunded my money for so mm. that's okay I still got it most of it and there we go I will be getting more packages in next week I will show them as I get them unless it's Christmas stuff I can't show that obviously um well I could some of it my son and my hubs don't watch this, so I don't, <laughs> they don't watch this. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. Um, so, like I said, this week is going to be busy with school. Um, I will be doing my vlogs every day, uh, but they will be in the evening because when I get home from school, I'll do it and then get it edited. Um, I'm trying to keep them not, this is going to be a little bit longer, but I hadn't done one the past two days. Um, and I will show you what I'm working on and stuff. I, um, I wasn't going to hang up any more Christmas decorations beside the tree I did, but I need to hang up the Christmas stockings and redo my mantles. I'm going to do that. And that'll be all the Christmas decorating I do this year. I just don't feel like dealing with it. <laughs> That's terrible, isn't it? I like, um, uh, Christmas decorations and I usually love to put them up, but I just am not... I don't want to deal with putting them back up and taking them out. I just, ugh. There's too much going on right now. So, I'm going to have little kids at the house, so it's just us. And I like having my little tree up, and I'm good with that. I may have noticed I rearranged this yarny stuff back here. So, I have all my hand-dyed yarns in here. <clears throat> well, now I took out all the Southern Skeins hand-dyed yarn and put it in a bigger bin over there. <laughs> So, yeah, because there was a lot of it. Because I had some more in the back when I did that whole yarn rearranging I did to try to consolidate boxes in there. Which helped a little bit, but not that much. Because I got a lot of yarn, y'all. I got a lot of yarn. Oh, I know what else I wanted to do. Hold on just a second again. Okay, so. Like I said, I went through all my yarn. I have two boxes of yarn slated for giveaways okay um so what i'm gonna do uh, yeah i think i'll do mm. okay so i have two boxes of yarn they're slated for giveaway um because i did a big yarn cleanup here recently that's nothing in comparison to the one that I still have. But what I've decided to do throughout the uh, month of December is I have giveaways. Um, I'll probably do about two a week. I'm not going to tell you what days they're going to be on. You'll have to watch the vlog, the daily vlog, daily vlog, to see when the giveaway happens, right? Um, and then all you have to do is... Uh, answer any question I say to ask or whatever I say you have to do to enter that's what you do in the comments down below and I'll put all the rules and regulations down below um, as you have to do on the YouTube um, it's not sponsored by YouTube it's only sponsored by me me Christy Cook of T-Dottles uh, and 
I'm going to have it open uh, worldwide. So as long as your state allows it within the U.S. and your country allows it within your country laws, regulation, all that will be down below for you to check out. Um, yeah, so that's what I decided to do because I got so much of it. I tried to give away some of it before <laughs> and twice people did not contact me when I drew their name. So I'm just going to do a little bit every, uh, a couple times a week and um, we'll see what's left then. Um, so today we have, this is a Mary Maxim kit. Um, so I'm going to make a hat and a scarf. It's called the Milan hat and the wrap. It has four skeins of this. Uh, has the pattern. It has the little zippy bag. Um, there's four skeins of this. It's very pretty. It has some reds and stuff down in there. The light seems too bright today. I don't know. Uh, it's 80% acrylic, 20% wool, 219 yards or 200 meters on, and this is, uh, Umbria is the color, but there's four of these in here and it has a pattern to make a scarf and a hat and you get this nice little zippy pouch in here. So this is today's prize. Um, please be aware that I have dogs in my house and I try my best to keep the fur off the yarn but that does not always happen so this has been inside this bag so it should be fine there should not be any dog fur on it at all but everything is not I, I keep stuff in bins and containers as much as possible but you know dog hair it likes to stick just be aware that I do have pets in my house okay um So, if you want this little pack of yarn, um, what do I want to know today? Hmm, I like asking these questions because I always get such great answers, interesting answers down below. Um, are you done with your Christmas shopping if you celebrate Christmas? I know everybody doesn't celebrate Christmas. I celebrate Christmas. So, it, are you done with your Christmas shopping if you celebrate Christmas? If you do not, do you celebrate something else? What do you celebrate this time of year? You can, either one of those answers is good. What do you celebrate this time of year? Or if you celebrate Christmas, what are you making for Christmas? I mean, are you finished with your stuff for Christmas? Are you finished with your gift buying, making, all of those fun things? Um... Yeah, just let me know down below. Um, yeah, and then that'll be it. And you can let me know. And I will, this is what I'll do. Since I'm going to do two a week, I will. Hmm, yeah, you have from a week from the day that I announce it to, to contact me I'll, or to enter. And then I'll pull a winner. Okay, so since this is Sunday, December 1st, you have till Sunday, was it December 8th? Is that right? <laughs> Something like that. I'll have the date down there. <laughs> My brain's not working. It might, that might not be right, but next, you have until next Sunday, okay? And then I'll announce a winner the following day, okay? So... That's why I'll leave. I'll leave each one open for a week. So there'll be cr crossover for each one. Hmm. Maybe. Let me, let me rethink that for a second. Is that I, don't leave, I think I'll leave them all open to the end of the month. Yeah. So even if you win, uh, and then I'll announce. Is that, is that too long? Hmm. I'll do it once a week. You know, and it may... Um, once it gets closer to Christmas, you'll have may have to wait longer for your package because of shipping. You know, um, yeah. I, that's I'll stick to what I said at the beginning. It's that confusing. Am I confusing y'all? It'll be open for a week, and once it, 
once that week's up, I will draw the winner for that one. So there will be crossover when I do the, you know, since I'm doing two a week. So, and I will write that all down in my book so I don't get confused. <laughs> um, now, I have got to get off of here, get this edited so it can be doing all its uploading madness, which is going to take forever. And I need to pack stuff for my my swap partner Christy from uh, crochet creations by Christy and I are doing a 12 days of Christmas swap so we're packaging a little gift for each for 12 days which when we looked it up you know that actually happens after Christmas which I never knew that I don't know it actually starts from Christmas on past Christmas but what we decided to do because I told her she was ready to send mine and I'm like I won't be able to pack it up till this weekend because I'm so busy with family stuff um, but I'll tell you when I send it out we can send them out at the same time and see if we get them at the same time and then we'll start on the day you know we'll start on the same day opening each little package and it'll be for 12 days whether it goes over Christmas or not that's what it's gonna be so <laughs> I am uh, I gotta get all that packed up tonight because I want to be able to send it out tomorrow because I've got uh, packages all from the shop orders already in there that will be going out in the mail Monday. So, uh, yeah, I am super excited for everything. But don't forget to leave me a comment below if you want to win this Mary Maxim kit. Um, and I will try to keep them all about the same proportions I don't have I have some more of these kits but I don't have they're not all kits so it will be a little yarny bundle about that size every time okay how about that <laughs> all right I'm gonna let y'all go so I can get this stuff done and then I can crochet for the rest of the evening because that's what I really want to be doing I'm not gonna lie I'm ready to do it all right I'll see y'all later y'all have a wonderful week and Get some creative things done. Have a life lived creatively. I can't even remember my own tagline, y'all. It's ridiculous. Life lived creatively. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.